Hey YouTube, this is Rescue Me Some Park Fan 62. It is Thursday, October the 20th. We're roughly two weeks away, um, well, three weeks away, I'm sorry, from Dollywood's A Smoky Mountain Christmas. Um, it is the Saturday after Halloween. Um, so, uh, let's get started. Uh, tip number one. Um, if you're going to the park um, and you don't want to pay to park, uh, go to Patriots Park. Um, it is either X, uh, turn off 6 or 7. I think it's 7. And uh, you can actually get a wristband um, that can get you on any Pigeon Forge trolley um, All day that day for I think it's three or three hundred and fifty. Um, now please also be aware of this. Starting November the tenth, um, it is Pigeon Forge's Winter Fest, so you're gonna add that extra traffic in there as well. Now, um. If you have to get tickets, uh, the best thing to do is get them online. Uh, you save a lot of that hassle as well. Um, because the ticket window typically does get very busy. So you have to keep, you have to like that way you have let's say a three-day ticket all you have to do is just go straight on um security you do have to go through it it has changed a bit um if you've been before um you would know it typically was after the ticket gate between the ticket gate and um where you scan your pass or ticket which reminds me, speaking of passes, um, passes go on sale October 31st. So, um, you have the silver pass, the gold pass, and the diamond pass. Um, with the silver pass, uh, you do have block out dates in there. Um, so if you get the silver pass, unfortunately, you cannot go between around Thanksgiving the 26th through January the 1st, which is typically Dollywood's busiest time. Um, so, there's that. Now, tip, now, next tip. If, you ha if you've gone this year and you have the either all day or all season souvenir bottle, um, and, Apparently, one of the new things, as I understand, is you cannot fill those with either hot chocolate or hot coffee. You have to get another cup. Um, that's apparently something new. Um, so, there's that. Um, now, the next thing is this. With Dollywood's famous cinnamon bread, um, a lot of people stand in line at the grist mill to get the cinnamon bread. The next the best thing to do is if you don't feel like standing in that line, um, you can do two things. One, go to the top part. All you have to do is go around like you're going toward Owen's farm where um, this that one ride is. Or if that is still full, you can actually go to the bakery in the front as well and get it. Um, so there's that. Um, now, if you're looking for, like, a lot of the sweets and stuff like that, um, they've moved a lot of that up front. So, for example, milkshakes are in the ice cream parlor across from the bakery. Um, so, and two, in the grist mill, uh, they don't really have that much of a selection of, like, cookies and stuff like that. They've moved that all that up to the bakery in the front. So there's that. So expect the bakery to have more for Christmas as well of a more like lineup of like, I, now I'm not sure what they have planned. 
So expect like that, you know, more like Christmassy style cookie uh, selection. Now, I don't know if they're going to have like specialty hot chocolates and stuff like that, like they've had in the past. Um, so please be aware of that. Um, I'm one of the things I am doing is I'm trying to remember from 2019 when the last time I went for Christmas. Um, so there's that. Now, Red's Diner does get pretty busy during lunch and dinner rush. So the best thing to do is either go early or go late. Um, now, they do open, I believe, at 11 a.m. or 12 o'clock, one of those two times. So please be aware of that. Um, now, rides, now a lot of the rides will start closing once it reaches 40 degrees. Um, certain rides like Fire Chaser Express and Wild Eagle, not Wild Eagle, a Tennessee tornado closes at 40 degrees. And then as it goes down, um, the more rides close. Some of the times, especially in the mornings, some rides may not open that early um, because of the weather. Now, um, please note this, like especially once it reaches nightfall, like where the specialty tree is uh, in that one area. Um, it does snow, which is like suds apparently from what I understand. So please be aware of that, um, especially on the stairs going right by that bathroom that's near Mystery Mine. Now, there is a show of some sorts with the tree in Wildwood Grove. So, there's that as well. Um, now, last thing is this. Please be aware of the weather. Like everything, they are a weather-based attraction. Um, especially in the mornings. And then once you get toward nightfall is where they are going to have their problems. But then also, too, with them being in the mountains, you just don't really know what it's going to do. So, everything is based off the weather. Now, also, um, speaking of stuff with weather closing and stuff like that, um, do one of two things. Now, by Fire Chaser Express, and I think believe there's one other as well as checking the Dollywood app. Um, they will have stuff about temporary closings. Um, they will have stuff that's uh, closed for the day, that's temporary closed, closed for weather, and so much more. Um, please look at that. Um, there, the two that I'm aware of, it, one is at um, in front of uh, Blaze and Fury. And there is another one in front of Fire Chaser Express. There may be others I don't know about, but the best thing to do is keep an eye on the app. Um, that will tell you a lot more. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put it down below, and I will see. I will try and answer the best to my ability.